the president of the Belize Powerlifting Association, as well as four students here who are actually in powerlifting. And we have here with us Miss Kaylee Burgess, we have Miss Gianna Marin, Miss Ariana Matura Shepherd, and Miss Rhea Sai, who are from SCA and from BHA, BHS, sorry, <laughs> BHA, hear me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> these are power lifters, people. So good morning to all of you. How are you all doing this morning? We good? Yeah, I'm doing quite fine. All I'm right. How well. are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm driving right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so powerlifting, we don't usually see young powerlifters like you guys. And then I wanna, female. Yes, and female as well. Kaylee, since you have the mic closest to you, I want to ask you. <laughs> She's like, daughter, why did I put that mic by me? <laughs> How did you get into powerlifting? Well, uh, all my friends started powerlifting, so I just kind of joined them after a while. All really? Right. Yeah. So it was like a movement where your friends... I was yeah. like, everybody, you know what? What we're going to do? Powerlift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of all things, yeah. powerlifting. Okay, That's great. interesting. And how long have you been doing? Because I know you, it makes it seem like it's just a little bit now that you've been doing it. How long? A little under a year. Oh, oh wow. wow. Right. Okay. I want to ask the same question to you, uh, Gianna. How did you get into powerlifting? Well, at first, I saw it on TikTok, and it looked really cool. And then I remembered that these girls also powerlift, so then I joined. Okay, great. Okay. Ariana? Well, um, previous to me joining, my brother had been powerlifting, right. so uh -huh. when he started taking me with um, him to the gym, uh, he asked me if I wanted to do it as, alongside his trainer, and my brother looked at me and he's like, and I'm like, considering it, and he's like, you have that look in your eye, you're going to do it now. <laughs> and with doing that, I kind of dragged Rhea along into me doing it, because she's my best friend, and then that's how Kaylee joined alongside us. Okay, great. Oh, man. I um, so, I mean, Leo, hmm. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, how has it been, Rhea, doing the whole powerlifting because your best friend dragged you along. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess it was kind of a chain reaction. Like, she did it, and then I did it, and then she ended up doing it for both of us. <laughs> um, but so far, it's actually been, it's, it's been quite fun. I didn't think that when I first got into it that I would enjoy it as much as I do now. But it's, it's an eye-opening experience. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that I have as a hobby now, and I enjoy it a lot. So, nice. on that, I want to, like, just, like, tweak it up a little bit for other females out there that are hearing this, because they're all young faces and females and all this. So, you're talking about how you didn't think you are going to like it as much as you like it. What really makes it something that you think other people out there should, like, piggyback off and build this community? For me, personally, I think it's more the progress that I get to see myself making. Uh -huh. um, I, I, most of the time, and, like, progress driven so it's a really big motivator for me you can see like you lift something heavier i don't know how you work i could lift something heavier that i struggled a lot to do before ah uh, all right this is cool Khaled, i want to bring this to you now so you're dealing with these high school students at this point how was that always a part of the association or what is this something new um, well, with powerlifting, and especially here in Belize, one of the main things we've always focused on is inclusivity. Okay. And I know from, I believe, the second competition, Ariana, Rhea, and Kaylee competed last year. Okay. So it's always been a huge thing for us. We've always been really excited to have um, young people, um, young and old, compete in powerlifting, right? And what's really exciting for us this year, what's one of the reasons that I asked the girls to come on was, I think this year, more than half the people competing will be juniors. Oh. So that's oh, wow. about, um, I think, about, I think, 16 people so far that have registered are under 20. Oh, wow. So it's really exciting. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. Look at you guys. Okay, I'm thinking about the growth because we went from, like, you guys asking people, can we come out and, like, build the community and everything. There was, like, a few faces here and there. And then now looking at... All these dynamic young people now that are like made this. Oh, this is fun! Like my friends, like my best. It's like a whole friendship thing where we're just going out there. So I know there's a competition. You said they actually also already started competing. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So um, the competition we have coming up is our annual national event. Um, that's where everyone across the country comes over, basically see who's the strongest in the country. You know. Um, again, there's weight classes, age classes. Again, sport is very inclusive. Um, 
on we, we're actually doing it over the course of two days this year okay. okay so on the first day will be women on the 25th and on the second day will be men on the 26th of february i was just okay. gonna ask which month should it just show that that date because <laughs> i'm like that the right wrong the corner though. <laughs> I'm like, is it january <laughs> okay awesome so i just have to i, I just you know the devil's advocating on me this is just a check so you guys are like all the same ages are they gonna be like competing against each other too as well how does that work? Um, well, we are the same ages, but we won't be necessarily competing against each other because we're in different weight classes. Ah, okay. I'm in the 63 kg. Which weight classes are you guys in? She's in the 57, 52, and I'm 57. The only two, she's, the oh. only two are going to be competing are those two. Oh, ah, that okay. is so cool. Like, uh, I mean, that must be fun as well. Um, now we, we heard from Khaled that you three actually uh, did competitions before what was that experience? I want to start with you Rhea. So for last experience it was actually I didn't have I wasn't a hundred percent sure what to expect because it was my first competition um, But my mom had competed prior the year prior. Oh, okay um, So she she just kind of like gave me a rundown of what they would do because I believe it was at the same venue the year before okay. um, so she just gave me like um, like brief expectations and that's what I went off of. And then with my friends, it obviously it was more fun. <laughs> Kaylee, how was the experience like for you? Well, I, I was quite nervous when we first started. Um, it was very fun. I really enjoyed it, and I, I'm excited to do it this year. Okay, great. Ariana? Um, well, it's definitely an inter uh, interesting experience. Like, everybody has taken, like, caffeine to, like, um, boost their performance. They have a special, um, I guess, supplement yeah. called pre-workout, and everybody usually takes that before. So then with the adrenaline and the caffeine mixing together, like, everybody's, like, bouncing off the walls <laughs> at that point. But it's the energy. Everybody's, like, very energetic. They're very pumped and very supportive. So it's a very inclusive um, meet for me, at least. All right. I, I want to ask Jay. Yes, uh -huh. like, first you, competition I know, like, coming. <laughs> what do you expect from this? What would you want to get from it, too, as well? Um... I'm excited for it because it's my first competition, so I know what to expect because my trainer kind of gave me a rundown on everything, but I know what to expect, but I don't at the same time. Yeah, because like, anything can happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> and is there something you're looking forward to specifically? Like, I know there's several different competitions, so like, is there one like, this is the one that's my favorite? I don't know if that's happening. <laughs> um, I'm kind of just looking forward to experiencing a powerlifting competition. Because this is my first one, so I'm excited. I love it for you. And you know the competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're really just like. I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, you know the competition. That's about it. So, Khalid, I want to ask you this now. Um, this competition upcoming, you said that there's 16 people, um, or no, there's 16 people in the actual powerlifting association. How many for juniors, people right? for juniors? Yeah. How many people are competing on a whole? Um, on a whole, we're looking for um, closer to 30 or a little bit over 30. Okay. Year. That's why we had to split up over the two oh, days. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot of people. Of that, covering all of that in one day would have been too, <laughs> too crazy. So, can I get, you gave us dates already, but like, let's go over some details. How can the public be able to support? Because, of course, these young ladies are going to have their people out there with signs. I'm hoping because parents, we need signs, okay? That's, we need bullhorns and signs. And we, if we could get a mascot... I Alfie, <laughs> but like, um, <laughs> tell us a little bit how people can out there yeah. join. Again, um, all of our events, um, well, especially this year, we're open to the public. Um, since everything is okay now, mm -hmm. um, we're having the event at the Marin Jones Sports Complex. Right. Okay. Um, it's five dollars for kids, ten dollars for adults. Um, it's open to the public. Um, come in, have a good time. I love it. What time? Um, so the way in for the athletes begin at begins at seven a.m. and there's like a two hour like um, wait time after that, so at least can eat and different things in preparation. And so the competition starts at nine. Okay, okay great. And this is the 25th and 26th of February, February. February. No January. All right. So, I mean, apart from this, I want to bring this question to Kaylee here. Um, <laughs> this, you've already competed once, you're going to compete again. Again, what do you see in the future with powerlifting? Well, what I see is that I continue doing the sport, maybe not even, maybe not competing every year, but I just continue because it's a really fun sport okay. and it helps a lot. You know, it's just, 
It's so refreshing to hear you guys talk about how fun it is, like how you want you enjoy it. Because when people think about powerlifting, they just think more about it like. Hurt. <laughs> and I don't want to say it like that. It hurts. I want to. But I, I glad you say it for me because like no, that's the thing when people see like I watch Jacqueline right, and I see like all the stuff Jacqueline did, and I was like, damn, Jack, that 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 looks like something, something. So people automatically look at it and don't they think more as a I'm trying to get fit as compared to, like, I'm having fun. And you guys talk a lot about the fun about it. And is it maybe attributing to the fact that you have friends there too as well? Yeah, fully. Um, with your friends there, you're allowed to mess around with all the stuff that you do. And bounce around from the walls when you get the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's very important. I, I noticed. Um, as we're getting closer to wrap up on this competition, like, what would you, is there any people that you want to thank for your journey of support? Because I know you guys have started already competition, but, like, you know, it takes a lot of work to do what you're doing. Is there anybody you want to thank for where you're at right now? Well, obviously, I want to thank my friends, uh, Ariana and Rhea, but also the, my trainer, Rhea's dad, Tom, and my mom, my mom for allowing me to do this. I love it. All right. Diana, you want to thank anybody? I want to thank my friends for being my motivation because some days it's like I'm too tired to go to the gym, but then... They're like, they motivate me to go. And also my family for being supportive. And my classmates for always supporting me doing it. I love it. Ariana? Ariana. Well, primarily I'd like to thank my brother Leo because he's like the main inspiration that I had for this. Alongside with my trainer Tom Tai and my friends Kaylee and Rhea. But I also would like to thank BHS because they really do make it something that can be added into my transcript and they really make it like help when it comes to like applying to colleges and they incorporate it into their steam so we really have to thank them for that too because it makes my life a lot easier it you know i never thought of it that way that yeah. that parts of that forms a part of your extracurricular of, yeah. of course but it's something that you've never seen before i mean like I don't think when we were growing up, you know, they no. put all of these things in there. They, they have the better advantages than back in Abai days. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that's the cool yeah. part too as well. And I, I think after that, we're going to ask Khalida also about that opportunity of like power lifting and how it can be able to benefit your school life and, you know, when you're applying to colleges too as well. So, um, but I really want to ask you too as well, who do you want, who do you want to thank? Well, obviously I have to thank my parents. Um, like Ariana and Kelly mentioned, um, my dad is... All of our trainers, actually. Oh, um, <laughs> so your mom and dad are in this. Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. <laughs> um, so it's my the sport that I partake in is very um, like supported in my household. I also want to thank um, BPA in general because they create a very supportive environment. Like like what Khalid said, um, it's a very um, inclusive environment. So age, weight, it doesn't matter, right? As long as you partake in the sport. Um, and as for what Ariana mentioned, I agree in that BHS is very um, supportive in, like, if you're a student athlete, um, they're very supportive of that. They will help you with the transcript. It, it goes on your um, experiential transcript, and I'm very grateful for them about that. All right. That's amazing. That a big you already know what I was going to ask, so <laughs> 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 if you want to dive into that. So I think that also is a great opportunity for people to know about. Yeah, um, well, with the um, powerlifting, it's a... Uh... It's a relatively new and growing sport around the world. And I've noticed a lot of opportunities have started to pop up in terms of scholarships for schools in the States. Okay. There are some schools in Europe that already implement. There's even um, a school in, I believe, in the UK that offers a master's in powerlifting specific oh, wow. um, sports science. Right? Um, so again, um, <laughs> I, I, they caught me off guard just now. I didn't know VHS was doing all of that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm more excited now. <laughs> See, this is what interviews help with. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's, that's really good to know. That made me really happy just now. So, um, but again, it's a growing sport. There's a lot of opportunities coming up um, on, the, um, on our national level. Again, this national event is to qualify our athletes for international competition. Right. And so from the national competition we are hosting this year, we're looking forward to selecting those who are who qualify for the NAPF tournament again, the same tournament we came back from with the medals. And so we're hoping this year to bring more medals. More, more medals, because we, we all bring the medals. We we'll all bring the heat. <laughs> so question, um, the juniors, it's made up of girls and boys? Yes. Okay, okay is there more girls and boys? 
Actually, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I just, I just. No, yes. I mean, fighting brilliant. for my people. That's brilliant. <laughs> but uh, Khaled, also, how can one sign up to be a part of the? Oh, okay. um, to stand for the commission, it's pretty simple. We have an online form right now. Um, if you'd like access to the form, all you have to do is contact me. Um, six six seven two zero nine one is my personal information. Or you can Instagram the page or Facebook, um, Belize Powerlifting on both social media accounts. Okay. Um, just give us a message. I think sign up is the deadline for sign up is February 11th. Okay, great. Uh, that's for the competition, yeah. or I mean, I'm asking on a whole for the, the association. Oh, um, as a whole, that's Anytime. just for the um, national commission, but on a whole for the association. If you're interested in powerlifting, um, just send us a message at any time. All and it's right. never too late to join. Um, it's never too late to join powerlifting. <laughs> yes. Again, <that's> um, <laughs> again, like... the, um, again, last year it was competitor was 72. So yes. uh, it's, it's never yeah. too late. Like any age. <laughs> it's any age. Brandon, they're calling to you. Yeah, my shoulder, no, I love for that. The way how so. your knees <laughs> set up that bengue will have to come up. And this <laughs> knee, oh gosh. Victoria <laughs> Peak, I swear. <laughs> but we do really want to thank you guys for this conversation. Yes, I'm going to challenge you, you uh, for, we hear that apparently, you know, you can eventually get a scholarship. There are places that are doing that. So maybe that's something to, for that, not this year, but on the horizon to see if we can be able to make some kind of connection to have somebody get a scholarship to go out there for powerlifting. That would be pretty, pretty cool. Yes, definitely. So we're speaking it into existence, and we're putting it on your back just in case you want to carry that weight. Yeah. <laughs> well, he can, you know, he, he powerlifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. I, I like tried. it. Look at you, big I punny. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for being here. I mean, good luck on 25th and the 26th of February at Marion Jones at, well, 7 a.m. for you guys, but 9 a.m. for the normal public that's going to come in. <laughs> And be able to see you guys do your extraordinary talents at every single thing. So all the best of luck with it, guys. Guys, and again, please come out, support. This is Belizean excellence before your eyes. Let's support these young women in their journey in powerlifting. And try bring also more of your friends and grab the in if you get into powerlifting. <laughs> I want to see like the juniors fill up with lone girls and be like, where are the guys like which we've taken over? So that's the next task, right? <laughs> but with that, guys, we go to our next commercial break. And when we're back, we're keeping.